Alright. So. Oh, hey, Lucky. I can invite. Awesome. So I'm going to do that real fast. Give me a second because I'm going to invite um, a couple people who specifically asked for me to invite them. So. This time it's letting me invite, so that's awesome. Okay, so give me a second. I'm inviting people right now. Um, there's one more person that wanted me to specifically invite them. Let me check. Oh, looks like she's already on here. Hey, Melissa. Hey, everybody who's in here right now. All right, so let me close that. All right, hello everyone. Yeah, go ahead, share the heck out of this video. Share it wherever you feel it may be benefited. Don't need to, you don't need to ask. Go ahead and share. Um, hello. Okay. So, let's see. Let me share again. All right. Uh, invite those that asked for me to share them specifically. Let me get that out of the way. All right. Okay. I think we're good now. <laughs> So, um, today I'm mostly going to talk about why it's important to go with the flow, but first of all, it's important to, um, it's important to, um, when we first wake up, when we first begin to wake up, we start seeing everything around us and we're um, finally coming in tune and and realizing the truth of things and realizing that our power that we've just been giving our power away and that we've been manipulated by those who are seeking to keep us asleep and so when we first begin to wake up this is a little bit crazy um, it's a little hard to believe at first, and um, it's it, it's a little difficult to deal with at first. And so, sometimes we will try to go back to sleep, but once we've awakened, unless unless we really work at trying to get ourselves back to back asleep, that's that that's not going to happen. So. So it it, it sometimes it sometimes when we first wake up it's a little overwhelming, and um, uh, then we realize how much crap we have to deal with. Still, we realize um, what we've been doing to ourselves. We be, we become conscious of just everything, and we're like, uh, and then we take a look at it all, and we're just like, great. Now I have lots of work to do, and it can be really overwhelming but once we um, cut our cords and cut the things out of our life that are draining us of our energy and that are um, that don't have the best intentions the first thing I think that's important is to remove those things so that way it makes the influence of them um, less, if that makes sense. Um, so, you know, media, you know, if you watch the news, of course, things like that. Anything that involves the what we have become aware of that is actually just stealing our energy, rather. Um, that is, that we're just giving our energy and our 
our and allowing ourselves to lower our vibration our vibrations for um by focusing on those things and so um it's important to get rid of those first and then when we get rid of what is not serving us in any way a lot of crap starts to come up we start actually um instead of ignoring everything when we wake up we start seeing a lot um sometimes this gets projected um and out in anger because we don't know how to handle it we sometimes blame other people and tell other people they're in the wrong or something's wrong with them and that um and it's it's kind of like we go into denial about everything even though we're seeing it we're trying to not see it um and sometimes we have no choice but to see it especially now especially with the the shifts and the changes that are happening we are almost forced to see it um there's no hiding from it anymore it's all around us and it's within us and there's no more running from it and so um with this like i said it can be overwhelming and we begin to realize how much stuff we need to work on and maybe we get a little disappointed but but after after we've done the work of getting rid of what's externally not serving us um that will help to clear up some space for us to express and for us to to have the space to deal with what we need to deal with in this moment that is inside of ourselves and so um the best way to find balance with this is to go with the flow it's to when we instead of beating ourselves up um we, we can cuz we can either beat ourselves up about it about having so much to do about we can see it as work or we can see it as um not worth it but when you when you see it that way you are also seeing that about yourself and um it, and and in finding balance in in the craziness that tends to happen when we first wake up is really key um you need to, because you're you're beginning your journey you're beginning to to realize things and some of them aren't always nice you know the truth isn't always pretty and it's not always um what we want to hear or see or feel or whatever it may be but if we want to uh, if we want to reach that um unity consciousness and the expansion and the enlightenment that we're searching for we have to get past this gunk we have to find balance with it all um what we need to understand is, is that there is no destination there's no real destination um it's all about the journey um it's it's all about what is is happening right here right now if you want to if you want a destination if you if if you need a destination when you're first waking up you know you're like no i need a goal i need to set this let your destination be right here let your destination be right here where you are at where you are in this moment let that be your destination and remain there and because right now everything is happening right now anyways um past and future are just projections of our mind they don't exist where we where we think they are they exist right here because we are thinking about them right here we we think about them right here right now and so the the best destination is to be right here right now because that this right here right now is where it's all happening it's all happening right in front of you 
and right inside of you. And so when we first wake up, we, we may begin to, you know, look more into the past or focus more on the future. And um, this is normal just because of what we have been, you know, taught to do. And, and um, it's important to just embrace what comes up. It's important to, to um, in, in order to find balance in, in all of the chaos that seems to come up inside of us that we've, that we've brought upon ourselves um, by just giving our energy away and blocking everything out and staying asleep, to find balance with this um, acceptance acceptance and forgiveness and remaining in love um, a, a huge huge way of of finding this balance that we're seeking is by oh I lost it dang it I lost that one. Shoot. Okay, so well, well, I'm gonna go with what I'm thinking about right now. Um, we all have masculine and feminine within us that has has greatly become unbalanced because of the conditioning that we've all been through. And when all of these things begin to come up, we need to balance our masculine and feminine energy. Because say a problem from your past comes up, um, these things come up so that we can finally release them and break open and expand and, and wake up even more and become even more conscious. And when we balance the masculine and feminine with us, um, it's really a beautiful, just, it just flows. Everything just, it, it flows. And, um, it is what it is when it is, when we allow this, when we allow what is to be, if that makes sense. Um, when we, uh, because the masculine is, is, is action and and the feminine is fluidity and when we have those two together we can find that balance and in and how we achieve balance is by accepting what comes up by by accepting what is present within us and without us um we say let's see let me think of an example you have some some past like relationships that have come up and um you're beginning to think about them you're beginning to see the truth of them and you're beginning to see um the and you're beginning you're beginning to bring light on it you're you're illuminating what wasn't seen before um, because of limiting beliefs and thoughts and patterns and so the first thing you want to do is you know feel bad about it um, allow yourself to even feel that don't don't resist don't resist it um, in 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 trying to ignore certain feelings in trying to ignore a situation or um, or anything like that we are in resistance to it and what this does is this this changes it shifts our vibration into a resistance state so what we're seeking at the moment is relief from this bad feeling but but the very thing that will provide us this relief is is the acceptance of it and um, 
and then when we when we become into when when we remain in this acceptant accepting state this allows it all to just flow within you it allows the release to happen and then it allows the the joy and the bliss and the illumination and the expansion all of that to also come in because our vibration has shifted into that state of acceptance so to find to find the the balance you need to understand that there there isn't a destination that you're needing that you are going to find there isn't um uh because because one minute we will be um we will be um in the flow we will be blissed out and and just feeling connected and aligned and then the next minute something begins to come up and we need to release it and we, and then we were like oh well I still have a lot to work on we all do um, we still do all have a lot to work on and um, this is um, I mean even those that seemed like they had it all together you know like Buddha and everyone the only thing that has been portrayed in society is the good you know is the not the hardships but if you begin to read um, more into it you'll see that that Buddha actually um, had his shadow side his he called it him shadow his sha uh, excuse me shadow self and um, but of course it wasn't talked about because we've been taught to portray perfection even though we're all perfect we need to understand that the that the balance and the natural flow of things is that of ups and downs is that of release and and wholeness and um, it's all part of the flow and um, it's important to go with the flow um, if you try to force something like you you try to force yourself to heal heal something um, that is again a state of resistance this just puts us in a state of this is not okay and so I need to get rid of it now and and all that does is we're trying to push it away push it away that's resisting it is because you're trying to push it away you know you're pushing not not accepting and and what we need to do is we need to to allow allow ourselves to experience whatever it is we are experiencing without attaching to it and that is how we we can achieve this this balance whenever um, these things start to come up um, we we don't attach to it we allow it and, it, and whenever you can, just allow yourself to observe it. Um, practice just observing it. Um, let it be. Um, be curious about it. Um, try to, you know, um, understand it. And I don't mean understand the way that the human mind tries to analyze and complicate things. I mean understand by feeling into it, by using your um your inner wisdom to feel into it and understand it that way because when we feel into it we begin to create space for it rather than constricting it and trying to push it down we create space for it to be and then we and then in, in acknowledging it we allow it to come up and um Less let and and it allows us to feel what what is absolutely per perfect for us to feel at that moment to heal from it, and then after this is the release that we're seeking. Um. It. It's it seems overwhelming to do that. A lot of people shy away from their emotions for this reason, from their emotions or their challenges or anything. They just completely block them out because of the simple thing of just feeling it but 
if you want to find happiness that you are seeking, you have to get rid of the, the gunk that's covering up that pure state of happiness that is already inside of you. Because you can keep looking outside of you for for that happiness and say, oh, I, I'm not dealing with this, but but I'm going to look out here for what, I'm, what I need. Um, that's always going to be temporary. Life is going to keep teaching you the 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 lesson of everything being temporary and and it'll just be and then something of course is going to happen that will just keep telling you to go within because when we when we finally tap into our power that allows us to have the strength to get through what we have brought upon ourselves then then that happiness that we're seeking, we will know that it is always, always there. And it is something we can always tap into. Something that, that can't be taken away from us. That's the thing about anything and everything that comes from within. It cannot be taken away if we don't let it. We have full say over that. Rather than when somebody is giving us happiness because we can't, because we're looking outside for this happiness and we're looking outside for this balance or anything that we're searching, then that can easily be taken away. And that's what causes, we do this because of fear, but it only causes more fear. And and it's so contradicting, but this is just what we, what we have been taught to do. And it's important to remember that it all comes from within. And when we, when we, and, and I ask you to allow yourself to go through what is necessary to, to, because when you first awaken, you begin to see these things. You begin to realize these things about yourself. And um, remember that it is necessary, and all it is is release, which means that it's going to pass. It's not ever going to be permanent unless we attach to it unless we attach to it. We can choose to hold on to this, to, to hold on to it forever and just make ourselves miserable. And in being resistance to it, this is exactly what we do. But in allowing ourselves to embrace it, we begin to become in alignment with the balance we are seeking. We begin to come in alignment with the understanding and the fluidity of what is, of all that is. and and accepting the the flow of everything and um, an example of why it's important to just go with the flow of things is okay say we're looking at say you're looking at um, two different mountains with a river breaking off and going into both of them one of them is crashing into the mountain. It's trying to force its way through. And um, then the other one is just flowing fluidly. And it's just, it's kind of patiently waiting. It's just, it's it's doing its own thing. It's, it's being itself. It's not forcing anything. It's just flowing into the mountain. It's stopped because the mountain doesn't have that pathway yet. The mountain hasn't created that space for it yet but the other one what's going to happen with the other one that's just crashing in the mountain um mountain hill whatever makes more sense in this situation um it's just going to crack and and what the the stream is going to have to do it's going to have to work its way around mm -hmm. the the mountain rather than rather than them working in harm, harmony together and with the other one eventually that stream being as gentle and fluid and flowing as it is the mountain and the the stream or the river is going to start to work together the mountain will form will eventually form a pathway that suits the river and the mountain and all that is around it, not just the river and the mountain, but all that is around it that suits it. That and then everything is working in harmony. 
This is the same thing with really everything. When we try to force anything and we just um, try to break through, um, we try to skip stages in our life, we try, we try to skip the pain and skip the, the harsh awakening of certain things. And when we try to skip this, um, we're becoming that stream where we will eventually have to work we'll have to do even more work to try and fit in the creases of life of uh, fit in the creases of this happiness that we're seeking rather than fluidly going with, with fluidly facing the obstacles that we face inside of us and um, just going with the flow of what is and continuous and continuing on our path without resistance to anything and eventually we will find the harmony of all things where all things are working harmoniously so that it so, so that um, it may be um, I'm trying to find the word for it more peaceful, I guess, um, the peace that we're seeking, you know, um, and I know that finding this balance and learning to accept can be a little difficult at first, but, but connect with the, the, but, but connect with knowing that it's temporary, it's just release, and it's not going to release itself if you attach to it. It's not going to release itself if that is your full focus. You know, no. Tap into the knowing of what is. Tap into observing and tap into more of the feminine energy that is within you because it's within everybody. Um, it's it's it flows feminine energy can also be be um you know like out there um kind of just just boom but but it also has this this flow to it it has um this gracefulness to it um and i'm going like this because it's funny i have my flower of life right here see just for example in the flower of life this is feminine and even though it's like out there and it's like boom if you really tune into it it still it flows it's like a bunch of circles you know there's curves and everything it's still flowing but yet but yet it, it's it's getting the job done <laughs> and so um you know, sometimes when these things come up, we instantly tap into that masculine energy as we're like, I need to make it, I need to make this happen now. And, and, um, and, and, uh, we begin to, you know, analyze and complicate things more than they really are just by, um, trying to understand them with our mind rather than, um, accepting and just feeling into it you know um, life and everything is so much more simpler than the human mind tries to make it all we need to do to to release these things and to find this balance is by feeling into them and letting them um, just just letting it you know, um, creating space for it. Because when we create space for these things that are inside of ourselves, we're really creating space for ourselves. You know, when we feel these things, we, we actually, um, because, because we're experiencing the emotions that, that are caused from these, these patterns and these situations or whatever they may be, it feels constricted. Um, we feel, you know, we tend to close up, um, whether it be physically, where we're just like, because when, because when we cry, we tend to go like this, you know, we tend to go like that, or like this, or you know, any any um, body language that is closed up, we just want to close up, or we go, you know, but um, 
we create the space and we open up for it where it, you can actually physically feel yourself able to breathe clearer and and your mind begins to relax and, and see clearer rather than attaching to oh my gosh this happened I shouldn't have done this or this shouldn't have happened or this person's wrong for doing this or just any um, emotion that is fear based any thought that is fear based um, it becomes constricting and we need to allow we need to ex uh, um, tap into the acceptance of this um, and and try to do the best that we can to accept it because this creates space don't forget that we are not just this f right here we're not physical um, beings we have a, a physical body right now but even our physical body isn't just right here it's not uh, uh, contained within anything it's everywhere and nowhere at the same time so we have enough space for what is going on within us we have enough power for what is going on within us um, you just need to remember that we just need to remember that um, we need to just uh, and and of course when we're awakening we will begin to see this just by uh, by by allowing ourselves to see more and, and become more consciously aware of ourselves. Um, so, I mean, and then another example is, um, why another example on why it's important to just go with the flow of, of what is coming up and what is, um, and again, this goes with everything. It's important to go with the flow of, of everything because uh, the another example is um, what happens when you try to force somebody to do something they're not gonna do it right if they don't want to <laughs> I mean if you're if you're having to force them to do it of course they don't want to do it and more than likely they're not gonna do it and it's just gonna create more chaos and more um, absolutely just unnecessary tension and conflict other than allowing whatever it is to be rather than allowing um, them to do something their way and you just observing and and um, without judgment and attach an attachment then thing then there is no conflict and really the only thing that it hurts is the ego and and that's where um, we need to bring awareness to um, the ego tries to come in and and that's also has to do with the analyzing everything and the trying to make sense of things um, the ego tries to come in and and um, because it's it's always looking for something to do because the reason why the ego um, is so what it is now has become what it is for everyone now is because it's gotten bored it, it's here to anchor us into this reality and to and to give us natural fear um, to protect us from from real you know physical threats mm -hmm. that all it's here for and now it's just gotten bored because we are so safe now you know safe um, I mean, we have security, we have wonderful technology that has caused us to become more safe and comfortable. And so, so when it, so now it's just looking for things to do. And, um, that's another big realization that you can, um, allow yourself to fully realize so that way, you know, so that way it's easier to tap into, um, the observing mind and the, peace that resides within you already when this chaos is happening to you um, with you for you um, it, it comes in and it tries to um, tell you this feeling is bad get rid of it um, this feeling is is bad 
get rid of it. Um, it the, the ego is what sees wrong and right. When we step back and observe and bring this awareness and mindfulness to these thing to this thing in us, it allows us to already be balanced. Because balance is already what we are. We're already balanced. But we just need to remember this and we need to use it. We need to go inside of it and step into that and allow what is to be and um, just flow with whatever is. Um, and like I said, this is, this is after we've awakened and, and gotten rid of what we need to externally. Um, uh, this can happen this cause this can begin inside or outside but um you know that's just um when we wake up we kind of that's just a natural thing we're like this isn't serving my soul anymore so i need to get rid of this what you know just the things that are external small piece but um and sometimes that comes later it's different for everybody but um we because sometimes we need to work on doing things inwardly before we get rid of things outwardly. And either way, it's perfect. Um, uh, this, I'm just giving you, you know, my insight on this. Um, one puzzle pieces picture, one, one small part of the picture um, of many different pathways. But, um, and so finding the balance is by going with the flow. We find balance by going with the flow. Um, because the balance of things is, is the good and the bad. It's the ups and the downs. Um, it's working, it's, it's the working of one side of your brain and working the other side of your brain equally. Um, even though now as we're ascending the, our brains are merging into one, but that's a whole different video. Um, it's, and, and so this balance is already happening. We just need to go with the flow and stop resisting it. Um, it's trying to happen within us all the time, but but we consciously resist it. We consciously um, say, no, this doesn't feel good. I only want this feeling. So that's not okay, and you need to go away. Um, that's not finding, that, that's not, um, that, that's just resistance. And though that may seem okay, if you want to, um, if you want to expand and tap into your full potential, acceptance is needed of all things, of all things, all aspects of ourselves. And so allow yourself to, to accept what comes up Give it space to be there, embrace it, acknowledge it, and then release it. Because these things need to be faced, just as, faced and felt just as much as the good to find this balance between things. And um, I'm pretty sure that's all that I have to say today. So I swiped away the comments again. I am going to bring them back and let everything be caught up. But if anyone has any questions, if you feel like there was a question that you have that um, I didn't answer, feel free to comment that in the comments below. I'm letting all of the comments get caught up. Ninety a bit. <laughs> Allison, what do you mean what keeps me going?
and hello everyone by the way I hope your day is wonderful even those who watch this later I hope your day is going wonderful I'm drinking my blueberry banana almond milk <laughs> I love you all too and I'm grateful for you for being here thank you for sharing this um, I'm getting this out there what about having standards to live by um, setting boundaries is an act of love and um, setting boundaries is um, that's what I mean though it's uh, by by getting rid of things that we know aren't serving us that that's the boundary I, I'm kind of talking about boundaries and, and doing that like the people that are just um, that we're just giving our energy away to and that are no longer in alignment we need to stop resisting and allow the flow of life to happen in that which means sometimes loss but it's not really loss you know we're just it's just simply falling out of a lot that uh, falling out of alignment with um, you um, as you begin to raise your vibration and your consciousness certain things will fall out of alignment with you and it's important not to resist that um, Aaron yes I do actually read um, I do tarot readings for those who are having trouble dealing with ascension So, yeah, setting boundaries, um, I'm all for that. Uh, it's necessary. Um, as long as you come from a place of love, you know, as long as you don't feel the, as, as long as you don't say, you know, as long as, uh, as long as it doesn't come from a place of fear or judgment or attachment, it, it, boundaries is an act of love. Setting, setting those boundaries because, because first and foremost, when we first, especially when we first begin to awaken, especially when we first begin to awaken, it's important to set, set those boundaries because we're just trying, we're just starting to figure everything out. You know, we're just starting to wake up. We're being reborn. And sometimes we have no idea what the heck is going on. So setting those boundaries is important. So, but let it come from a place of love and expansion. What, you'll know when something comes from a place of love or um, what is coming from a place of, of fear or lack or anything, anything. Um, because fear and ego and all of that feels constricting as heck. If we begin to feel into what we're feeling or what we're saying or what we're believing, we'll know where it's coming from. Because anything that has to do with love will feel expansive. And that goes with intuition and fear. Intuition feels expansive. Fear feels constricting. So I see a couple people asking for cards. I wasn't planning on doing them. But maybe after this video... Because I'm feeling like it's a pretty good day. I'm feeling pretty good energy. Maybe right after this video, if nobody else is um, going live, I will do cards. So if there's any more questions, please let me know. Also, with the boundary thing, um, yeah, once you get rid of... Uh, those things, you know, once we begin to awaken and we see that things are no longer serving us, yes, boundaries are important at that point because we don't want them to come back yet. <laughs> um, we got to figure some things out with ourselves, you know. We have to allow ourselves to, to figure these things out and um, work on what needs to be worked on at that moment because... Whatever is happening at the moment is absolutely perfect. It's 
perfect. And remember that. Freaking say it out loud. When, when you're feeling something that is just, that you don't want to deal with, say it's perfect. Like, tell yourself, this is perfect. But not sarcastically. You know, try to mean it. Try to mean it because it really is perfect. It's exactly the way that it should be for you right now. It is, ha it's happening because now you're awake, it's happening for your highest good. So remember that as well. So thank you all for coming and um, thank you to those who shared the video and thank you for the love and um, stay tuned because I'm going live again after this on a different video for card readings. So right after this, I'm going to get my cards and I'm going to do a couple readings. Alright? Namaste!